Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and today we are going to be looking at another Harry Potter box. Okay, you guys know I love Harry Potter boxes. This one's new to the channel, but it's not a new subscription. It's called the Accio Box. I'm so happy that I stumbled across it. I actually stumbled across it a little while ago, but I had to wait for budgeting in order to get it. And this box is actually going to be switching to a quarterly box starting in June, which is definitely a lot more budget friendly for me. So I am happy about that because I do love to keep all of my Harry Potter boxes all the time. There's still more out there that I want to try, but I just can't try them all at once. And I know that once I finally sign up for it, I'm going to have to keep it. So yeah, I'm trying to get them in slowly. <laughs> Anyways, if you've never heard of Accio, then I'm going to go over the information for you right now. The Accio box is actually a vegan and cruelty free box. So any of my vegan and cruelty free subscribers who are out there who are also Harry Potter fans, this is a great box for you. This box was $39.99 plus shipping with a $65 value. But as I mentioned, all of that is going to change in June. In fact, I think this is the April box and it may already be too late to sign up for the May box. And then the June one is when they're switching over. At the end of the video, I I will pull up the information that I was sent in emails about the pricing and everything that's going to be for the quarterly box. But for now, let's go into this box. Each box is going to have hand curated magical items every month. Each box should have five to six fan made products. I love that. It's definitely a different twist on a Harry Potter subscription to have things that are made by fans for the fans. I think that fans sometimes have such creative, amazing ideas that bigger companies don't, I don't know, there's so much copyright that's involved in all that. So I'm just glad that there is a subscription out there who's figured out how to do this and how to give us these amazing products that we would never have if fans had not come up with these ideas. They do ask you for your shirt size, However, I'm not sure if you're guaranteed to get a shirt every single month. I want to see what's in this box. I am excited. I am so excited. I actually had this box last Tuesday when I did my filming, but I ran out of time and I was not able to get this one filmed or the heart box filmed. That kind of worked out because today's Tuesday and the only two boxes I have to film this week are this one. I don't get a lot of boxes at the beginning of the month. so. It's always kind of rough putting out content at the beginning of the month when I don't have any boxes. Ooh, how fun. Accio Profit. Important news, your Accio box is going quarterly. Awesome, so I don't have to look up the information. They sent me a pamphlet for it, and again, I will go over it at the end. Okay, so I think that this might be a product guide. What is in here? So many goodies. Let's start with this. From the kitchen of Rubius H, so Rubius Hagrid, recipe for my favorite vegan sugar cookies. Ooh, and it gives ingredients of what you would need and the directions to make these amazing vegan sugar cookies. How awesome. Another box with a recipe. I don't know if that's a normal thing. This is my very first box ever, and I think I've only seen one unboxed by somebody else. This recipe card actually goes with this Keeper of the Keys Rock Cake Roller. How awesome. Oh my gosh. This is such a fun rolling pin. I see keys and tents, pumpkins, the motorcycle that Hagrid rides, the umbrella, spiders. Definitely inspired by Hagrid. I love this. A little dragon eggs. Yeah, so it's got the animals in it, and Hagrid, of course, is also in charge of the animals. So amazing. I would have never thought that I could get something this cool in a Harry Potter box, seriously. And it's usable. And it also comes with something else a pumpkin cookie cutout. So that's fun as well. So you can also roll this out, do a pumpkin cutout if you wanted to. We're excited to bring you this cookie set complete with a cookie roller with the cutest engraved designs, a pumpkin cookie cutter, and a recipe card, both vegan and not. Oh, so I guess you can use vegan ingredients or you can just use regular ingredients. These are designed to not break any teeth and add a bit of magic to your baking. The roller is best used with dough that doesn't spread too much while baking, but if you invent a new spell to help with that, let us know. Feel free to share other recipes in the perfects group. And this 
whole set is a $30 value. And I believe it, like this is a nice, like just feeling it, it's a nice quality wood rolling pin. I'm just so excited for that. I don't know why. I don't know why I'm so excited for it, but probably because I love to bake. That's why. All right, next item looks like it is a shirt. Ha! Ah. So we have the Forbidden Forest Ranger. And in Harry Potter, they're not supposed to go in the Forbidden Forest. And then on the back, it has a Forbidden Forest design. Visit the Forbidden Forest, or don't. Black Lake Unicorn Preserve. How funny. Very cute design. I think you would have to really know Harry Potter in order to get the reference on the shirt. But for Harry Potter fans, it is perfect. And you'll definitely know when you're wearing the shirt when you come across other Harry Potter fans. The Forest Ranger Tee. Students aren't allowed in the Forbidden Forest except for detention, but someone has to make sure everything is okay in there. The Forbidden Forest Ranger Tea is a great way to show that you're not afraid of what might be lurking behind those trees and also to show off your love for fantastic beasts. All right, next item looks like an enamel pin and that's a very typical thing to get in a subscription box, especially a Harry Potter subscription box. This is a guide to dragon species of the world. Ooh, it's a dragon egg. The Romanian longhorn egg is a species of dragon native to Romania. And it has like all this information listed about it. I'll have to post a picture of that as well. But that is a really, really awesome enamel pin. Oh, I forgot to say the shirt has a value of $25. In the dragon egg pin, Oh, apparently there was different colors. It's a $12 value. It looks like I got the gold one, but you could have got a red, a bluish green one, or a purple one. We couldn't do the box without including a dragon egg, and we didn't want to pick just one dragon to feature. So now we have four gorgeous eggs. Love the one in your box or collect the entire set from the shop. Each egg comes with a bit of information about the dragon, and we think our favorite care of magical creatures professor would completely approve. Next item is a towel. Okay, so this is a tea towel. It's a rock cakes recipe tea towel. It's a $10 value. <laughs> I love this. So obviously this box, the theme has to be with Hagrid. I guess I must have missed where they put the theme, but all of this stuff is kind of revolving around Hagrid and the forest and all the animals that he takes care of. But this tea towel is so awesome. Hagrid's rock cakes, and then you have recipes and a picture of some cookies and a cookie jar. So awesome. This will probably be more like a decorative tea towel. I don't know if I'm actually gonna use it. I don't want it to get ruined. I've had a couple of tea towels that my kids have ruined by like wiping their slime on it or something. So I might have to put that one up. While eating rock cakes might not be the best move, they sure look pretty. This illustrated tea towel with artwork by Karen Leopold is perfect for displaying your love of these crunchy treats without actually breaking a tooth. If you do make them, consider leaving out the actual rocks unless you have a softening charm. That's funny. I have two more items it looks like in here. This one is something that I know I'm gonna love because it's a book sleeve. And we all know, if you've been watching my channel, that I love book sleeves, especially this kind of quality book sleeve. The thicker, like the padded ones, I like them better. So here we have a picture of Hagrid's little house. And I forget the animal's name that's in that's this one, but I, I do recognize him. And then the pumpkin patch is very iconic for what happened to him and then what Harry and Hermione had to save. It says, what's coming will come and, and we'll meet it when it does. This might be my next favorite book sleeve. I'm starting to have too many, but can you really ever have too many book sleeves? The book sleeve is a $15 value. Book sleeves are such a great way to show off art and protect a book at the same time. Whether you're traveling or just need to make sure a bookmark doesn't fall out of your current read, this lightly padded pocket does the trick. This features an in-house quote design on one side and a gorgeous hut artwork by Joy Attic on the other. Find more of their work at joyaddict.co. Very cute. And the last item in here, it is in a box and it says, ooh, the Magical Umbrella Company. Oh, this is a pink umbrella tea infuser. The Magical Pink Umbrella. This one doesn't have a broken wand stored inside. This, I think it's just a silicone part that you can open and put your tea inside. But instead, it's designed to hold loose leaf tea 
and hooks over the edge of your mug to steep. If you're not a tea drinker, use it as an ornament or add some cut up fruit and let it sit in a glass of water or put essential oils on bits of cloth and use it as a nice smelling decoration. That's a $8 value and I absolutely love that they gave other recommendations on how to use it if you don't drink a lot of tea. I don't drink a lot of tea, but I like tea. I just mostly don't ever think about drinking it. I don't even drink all the hot chocolate I get from my coffee and classic box. I still have tons of hot chocolate sitting in my cabinet that I need to really do something about. I like this. It's cute. I love what it represents and I just love this box. It was such a fun box for $40 plus shipping, so I mean that probably made it about $50 because most shipping prices are like $10. But I got a book sleeve, which I know I'll use. I got an awesome cookie cutter thing I know I'll use, a shirt I know I'll wear, a tea towel that I may or may not use and may be more decorative. And this is cute and I love the different ways that you can use it. I don't know how I'm gonna use it, but I may just put it on display. So many usable items. I just love the box. I love the idea of the box. I am excited for next month's box because I think this was the April one. And I'm gonna get the May box because I did get charged for it and it doesn't switch it to the quarterly box till June. So I'm excited I'm gonna get three boxes in a row before I had to take a three month break before getting the next one. Super exciting. So the theme was Keeper of the Keys. We know him, we love him. It's a box themed around our favorite groundskeeper, the hairy half giant who has had all our hearts since he pulled a slightly smushed birthday cake out of his pocket, deserved the coolest box we could curate, and here it is. They really did an amazing job for Hagrid. I don't know, I, I don't know how else to keep saying it other than awesome, but I just love the idea of this box. Fan made products for fans, best idea ever. And now it is time to go over the quarterly box information. For anyone who is a Harry Potter fan that's never heard of this box and is interested in getting this box, here's that same quote that's on the back of that book sleeve. The Accio Prophet. I guess this is kind of like their newsletter. So the box is going quarterly. That's right, we're moving to a quarterly box in June and you're at the top of the list. As a valued subscriber already, we're ensuring that you get first dibs on our very first limited quantity quality box which ships in June. That's right, I forgot that they may already be sold out of the June one. But you can keep it on your list for the one after that. You may have to sign up on a wait list. What does this mean for your boxes? So the new shipping schedule is June, September, December, and March. You will save on shipping, four shipments instead of 12, better boxes with even more items. So seven or more items per box. This one had one, two, three, four, five, six, I mean, it, it had seven plus a recipe, but maybe some of them were smaller and kind of grouped together. Better quality items at an even better value, over $130 value for every box. New items you may never have seen before, made by fans, for fans, as always. Limited supply, priority access for current subscribers. Basically, if you are a current subscriber, I think all you have to do is continue to be subscribed and then you'll get charged the new price of $64.99 every three months, plus you have to pay the shipping. So really, it's probably gonna bump my box up. It's probably gonna be $75 per quarter, which is pricey for a seasonal box, but less expensive when you pay $50 a month. I don't know, I'm okay with the change. I don't know how many times, like this might be the third or fourth time that I've signed up for a subscription, either right before or right during them making a transition to go to quarterly. I will have this information typed up at the bottom too, just in case you're interested. I don't know if it's even possible to sign up for the June one. Like I said, they may have already sold out. I think it really depends on whether or not you can sign up for the May box. And if you can get the May box, then you might be automatically applied for the June one. I'm not sure. Let me check my email because I know the email said something about that. Being an active subscriber, you're part of the Accio box history and in the queue to receive the inaugural Accio quarterly box in June. We have been working hard in the background to create something even more special than you are already used to. Not only will this box look completely different, but it will also be a lot heavier because of all the magical goodies we are going to pack inside. Just know, some of the items we are now curating are some of the most unique, innovative, and fun concepts we have ever done. 
and cannot wait for you to get your hands on them. Let's see, yeah, having an active subscription automatically puts you in the queue for the quarterly box. You will be renewed as usual in May, but at the new quarterly price. If you don't want the quarterly box, you have until May 10th to cancel before the deadline. Canceling now until May 10th will not affect you receiving your May box because those payments were already charged in April. But the quarterly box is now sold out. So the only way that you would have access to getting the June quarterly box is if people who are already subscribed decide to cancel their subscription before May 10th and then it'll open up spots, I believe, for people who are not currently subscribed. So join the waitlist if there's one available to get this box. I am excited to see what the May box has because it'll be their last regular monthly box. And I'm super excited to see what the quarterly boxes are going to be like. This has just been a fun unboxing. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Please give me a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button down below and I'll be back really soon with another video. Bye everyone.